Hi everybody, welcome to Saturday Live at the Backyard Bird Center. Uh, it is a beautiful early spring day and the skies are filled with birds. Uh, I was just driving back up this morning and saw a large flock or kettle of turkey vultures. And we always get a lot of questions about that, that bird. And as the title of the program says, uh, turkey vultures, they're vultures, not buzzards. One of the most commonly mistaken names used in North America, uh, uh, and, and it's no fault anyway, it, it's just a common nickname that people have called them for years and years. But in the truest form, vultures, turkey vultures, are a member of the vulture family, not the buzzard family. The buzzards are actually eagles and hawks, um, a term from the old world um, that got misused whenever uh, we settled this country. So um, if you want to be completely correct about the bird name, they are vultures. They are not buzzards, but they are one of the most fascinating birds out there. Um, we see them. Um, they, they, they migrate in the fall and they return every year mid to late March um, and they come back in and, and we know them because they are the road crews, they are the cleanup crews, they eat dead things, they're able to to break down and digest um, the rotten meat and they're, they have incredible uh, digestive systems that can can do that and not, uh, not get sick from it. Um, they are the only bird that we know uh, in, in group of birds or they, they, the bird itself it's the only bird in North America we know that has a really, really well-developed sense of smell. They do have a, a cousin, the black vulture, that you can find in southern Missouri in the southern United States, uh, and that bird doesn't even have nearly as a developed sense of smell as a turkey vulture does. They actually follow turkey vultures around and steal food from them. So these turkey vultures are, are have a lot of uh, neat adaptations other than just a, a great digestive tract. You'll notice the... The, their heads lacking feathers. Um, a lot of that has to do with just because they're sticking their head inside of pretty gross places and, and getting um, blood on their feathers and, and breaking down and, and, and causing uh, lice and things and stuff to make the feather and, and they would, the feathers wouldn't be there for very long anyway. So they've evolved to not have feathers on their head, just the bare skin. And turkey vultures, uh, the skin, especially during the breeding season, gets the reddish color. Um, it's kind of a black and red mixture, and especially when they're younger and certain times of the year. Uh, the black vulture itself has a black head, so uh, the, the black skin. So um, the turkey vulture, uh, had, that's a neat adaptation. Um, let's see, what do we got next? Uh, one of the most familiar poses that we see these guys in uh, sitting up in trees, in, in, in the, especially in the early morning, we see them with their wet wings spread like this, um, and that is them drying their wings whenever uh, the, from overnight the dew, and especially if there's been a rainstorm, they, they sit in the sun and, and let their and also this it helps with parasites. Uh, the sun heating up those black feathers helps uh, deter parasites from in, inside their wings and in their feathers, feather lice and things like that. So. Um, some of the, the, a couple of the coolest adaptations that they have uh, is that you know, whenever they're cornered or they're they're scared and they they're going to want to uh, uh, and threat it and threat by a predator, they actually regurgitate and, and vomit on to the the, the would be predator. And you know how bad the stuff smells when they took it in. You can only imagine how bad it smells when it comes back out. Uh, a pretty good anti predator deterrent as they project that on you. And another uh, thing that they do to, to help them cool down is they actually defecate on their legs, um, which is uh, another thing that adds to the wonderful smell of these birds. So, uh, But they play such an important part in nature. As, as not one, like I say, like the face that only the mother could love, but they uh, they do an important duty. They, they, they clean up um, a lot of the, the, the dead things, dead, uh, dying and decaying animals on the roadsides and in nature. And they are, like I said, what would we do without them? And it'd be a lot dirtier planet that we live on. So, turkey vultures, fascinating bird. Um, you, you, is it thankfully you can't attract them to your your uh, your backyard? I guess you could if you wanted to leave dead things laying around in your backyard and have them come in like that. But most people don't want to do that. So enjoy them in nature. Enjoy that. Um, 
when you see uh, huge flocks of them like this in the morning, which is really cool, uh, in a tree or from overnight, um, they you know, when they when you see a large group of them circling in the sky, they call that a kettle, uh, flying around like that. So just some things about turkey vultures you may not know. So um, thanks for the idea for the program. Send in ideas for future programs. Give the programs a like and the videos a share if you will. Till then, come by. Let's talk birds.